welcome to Family Outings TV from outside the York Minster, obviously here in York. Today we're going to take a look around York, we're going to look at the Christmas markets, we're going to look at the shambles and we're going to look at anything else in between. Um, I'm also going to do a separate vlog from the National Railway Museum so if you are interested in that, that'll be a separate vlog. Take a look on our uh, YouTube channel and you'll be able to find that. But yep, yeah, it's early in the morning, I'm going to go grab some breakfast. It's around about quarter to ten. Uh, so I'm going to grab some breakfast, then probably head over to Christmas markets, but I don't really think they're going to kick off till after 11 o'clock. Um, but if you see anything along the way, I will certainly bring you along for the ride, so come join me. So first of all, let's just have a look at this uh, amazing piece of architecture here at York Minster. It looks like they've actually been getting some uh, restoration work done here on the front, but just look, look at that. I'm not going to go to the right because we have actually got some scaffolding up there, but just look at this amazing building here and it is of course a Sunday so I believe there's a service going on or about to start I don't think we can uh, actually go inside and film for obvious reasons so we're just gonna have to admire from the outside Right, so it's now 12 o'clock, I've just been to the, uh, the railway museum there now I'm in York Centre uh, I'm going to take a look around, I'm going to head to the Christmas markets in just a second to see what's available. But first of all, just heading to uh, St. Helens Square to uh, take a look at some of these uh, pre pre prestigious tea rooms. You've got the Ivy and you've got Betty's Tea Room here in York. Uh, just looking at them ahead, they've got some lovely decorations on the outside. And then they obviously do all of the traditional cakes, um, afternoon teas, things like that. So this is St. Helens Square here in York the ivy there on the corner with that lovely gold and red canopy and then just down the street here I'll show you in a second We've got Betty's tea rooms but look at that that's lovely lovely decorations outside this building I like the random uh, horses on there to be honest and then if you just go here Lovely Christmas tree here in this square. And just on this corner here, you have Betty's Tea and Coffee Merchants. Not quite the same decorations as the Ivy, but nonetheless, nice sparkly lights. I'm sure this is wonderful at night time. Let's take a look at this up the building. Got them icicle type lights outside. Well, yeah, I bet this is uh, extra special at night time. And then as we head down this street, this is where it's going to take us to the uh, the Christmas market. So we'll go take a look at them, see what they have to offer. Obviously, I would imagine lots of food, lots of crafts, and lots of drink. Let's go take a look. Wow, getting a bit closer to the markets now. I was in Manchester yesterday. Check out the vlog. Um, and I'll tell you now, didn't seem this busy at this time of day, so seems a bit busier than the Manchester ones. Having said that, the Manchester ones are a lot more spread out. There's about six or eight across the city. Again, check out our vlog from yesterday, Manchester Christmas Markets. They are great markets in Manchester. But yeah, let's go look around at uh, some of these uh, food stalls. Oh yeah, look at this. Got to look at the... The Bratwurst, this is where you've got to start it off, haven't you? Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Savoury pancakes here. Sweet pancakes. Lots of pancakes. Strudel. Nice. Hot chocolate with Bailey's and a bit of music in the background. We were in Manchester yesterday and uh, it wasn't very festive, not much Christmas music so hoping I can find some Christmas music in the Christmas markets. This guy's playing music but it's not Christmassy but you never know. Maybe later. Roasted chestnuts. Wowza. Very busy here. 
mulled wine, Merry Christmas, Love York, picture boards. Looking. Oh, look at this. Pie and mash. So, what have we got here? Steak and ale pie, tender beef gravy, the cookie northern, the chicken and leek pie, uh, and then mince pies. Smells lovely. Let's take a look at the pies. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? So yeah, lovely pies. Uh, York roast core, and then this this area here appears to be some sort of uh, a craft fair, gift fair, <laughs> gourmet pies and peas, and then jewellery. Viking and drinking horns, mulled wine, chips and dip. Wow. What are we eating first, everybody? <laughs> Oriental street food, bao bun with sauce, crispy chicken with loaded fries. Looking nice. Bubble tea, steak burgers, sausage cobs. Look at the grub here. Looking good. Yeah, let's keep going. So basically, a lot of food, a lot of drink. Um, I must admit, so far, first impressions very good. Um, Food-wise, there seems to be uh, some very good options in it. It's not actually duplicated to compared to uh, to Manchester, which I saw yesterday, because a lot of Christmas markets tend to have a lot of things that are quite similar. But so far, I mean, yeah, burgers, but some of the other stuff has been quite unique. So looking good. And then this ends, or this part of the market here seems to be the crafty part, where you can get your gifts, probably your personalised gift things like that. So we'll try and take a look, but apologies you can't get clear views of these markets at the moment. Very, very busy, as you would expect. Pretty, pretty poor if it wasn't very busy, wouldn't it? But uh, yeah, let's take a look at some of these stalls. Award-winning Yorkshire biscuits. Silver, silver jewellery. Yorkshire tonic seems a popular one. Raystorpe distillery. Fresh box scratching out. Look at these pies. Gotta have a look at these pies. Sorry, mate. Good, mate, you. Wild boar, pork and chicken, steak and ale, pork and stilton, then all your pork scratchings. And then we've got uh, some neon lights. Well, it's not neon lights, it's backlit lights. Let's have a look. These are lovely, these aren't they? Look at this. Tinkerbell. Globe. Butterfly. Horse. Dog. Very nice. And here we have the chili jam man. I have personally tried many of this man's chilies. They are lovely. They are very sweet but also spicy and um, they have probably about 50 different varieties now so if you, you can actually order these online take a look for the chili jam man i think it's .co.uk and they do deliver so take a look i mean look at all these different uh, chilies honestly even if you don't like spicy food they do do mild ones so check them out definitely my favorite chili jam and i like chili jams and spicy food so 
big up to the chili jam man. As you'd expect, mulled wine, mulled cider, basically warm wine, warm cider here in uh, York. Can't do the Christmas markets without. But it is very busy. We keep going. Let's take a look. I'm sorry. Brownies, look at these bad boys. What was that? They look amazing. It's a sad day. It's a sad, sad day. That used to be the Disney store, which have now closed most of their stores across the uh, UK. But uh, we always used to come to York to go to the Disney store, and now it is becoming a Costa Coffee. Nothing against Costa Coffee, but Starbucks is better anyway. However, Disney Star is even better than that. Just avoided a bird pooing on me, which is much appreciated bird. Next time, try harder. And then we've got, uh, what are these? Basically, cheese balls. Seems quite popular. Basically flavoured baby bell. I'm sure it's not like but that's what it looks like. Hat shop. What else have we got over here? Um what are these are you? Or names, your names, uh, decorated names for your kids, for your kids' doors. Blackyak.co.uk and then here it is, Thor's Bar, which is basically a massive, well, two big teepees as you can see here. Uh, in dot inside they have open fires, which are fire pits so people can sit around, enjoy your lovely mulled wine or cider, and just enjoy the Christmas atmosphere. Bet they don't, bet, they better have some Christmas music on in there, I swear to God. Christmas music, just, it's not happening. It's nearly December. Bah humbug. Get the music on. Right, we'll go along the other side now, the Christmas market, and then uh, you'll have had a whistle stop tour of them. More jewellery. Bakers, past pastries, sausage rolls, pasties, chunky steak pies. Let's go take a look. Wow, look at the size of these. Mind you, they are seven and eight pound, but they are massive. Look at them. I know there's the reflection on here, but I think you can still see them. They are huge. Fudge stall. Smells lovely. Shame I don't like fudge. Don't like the texture. It's, it's weird. But if you do like fudge, that's that's a lovely place. Handmade fudge, apparently. Don't believe it personally. But we'll see. But we won't see. Here we have the shop. Very descriptive. Yorkshire rapeseed oil. Random. And here we have organic gin. And uh, we'll keep going once we can get past these crowds. Right, so if you are a tea cider, you'll know all about the palm oil. If you don't know about the palm oil, it's a chicken and scallop uh, topped with bechamel sauce, cheddar cheese, and maybe some red Leicester. Uh, here in York, they have this. Uh, tailor-made kitchen so York isn't in Teesside but from my understanding I hope I'm right they do do uh, palm oil chips so I'm gonna try some out because it would be rude not to because they're meant to be unreal so tailor-made kitchen Silver Street here in York <laughs> Dirty swine fries, 
cheesy buffalo, katsu fries, tuckaroni, and here it is, far more fries. So I've actually been given one of these tags that obviously beeps and makes a sound uh, when your food's ready, so you know the food must be good in a food van when you get given one of these. Wow, look at this, amazing. Got yeah, a little bit of tomato sauce on there, besh, chicken, and then underneath there you got some fries. This looks absolutely unbelievable. Yes. Oh yes. You've got to come try this place. Absolutely amazing. Taylor made kitchen, Silver Street York, bang on. Halfway through, absolutely stuffed. Well, I'm sure I'll do it. Absolutely unbelievable. Wow, they were unbelievable. I feel a bit sick now in the nicest, best possible way. Um, so we're here in this uh, square in York. I'm just going to head out the back of this and uh, take a look at the shambles, which is just some quaint little streets here in York. You'll see what I mean when we get there. It's very narrow, to be honest, and very uh, historic and old. But they've got lovely little shops down the streets. Um, seems to be a bit of affiliation with uh, Harry Potter down them as well and you'll see what I mean when we get there so we'll go take a look at the shambles and uh, see if there's anything else about there for the festive period right so here we are straight ahead shambles you can see there the narrow cobbled streets uh, the, um, the buildings there protruding out into those streets and it's just a lovely quaint little street here in York. You can see the similarities really in um, Diagon Alley, Harry Potter, I guess that's the similarities. It does look quite similar. But we'll head down there, take a look uh, at some of the shops from the outside, pubs from the outside, and we'll see if we can go in any of the shops with the uh, Harry Potter merchandise and just take a little look around. But I like these little uh, Christmas trees up here on the walls, like angled up. Got some on this side as well, and <clears throat> they seem to go down the streets. But yeah, it's a lovely little street, nice and quaint. It's uh, not so nice when you walk down it, it's quite stressful bumping into everybody, but um, let's go take a look. So here we are, Rowley's Punch Fudge Factory York, Shambles Sausage and Pie Company. What is this queue here? What is this queue for? Right. Let's have a look. What are they uh, all queuing for? So they all seem to be queuing for the York Ghost Merchants. So I'm not entirely sure what this is. Lots of ornaments of ghosts. Must be quite popular around this way. And this is the queue. Whitby Jet Shop. If you're not from around here, the uh, Whitby Jet is a uh, black rock quite famous round these ways the jet so yep you can see all the jewelry there made from the black jet rock which is famous around Whitby area and got everything here the portions cauldron nine and three quarters shambles york again a reference to Harry Potter but you can you can see the resemblance to uh, I guess Diagon Alley and Harry Potter York Vikings it's just lovely isn't it nice and quaint but um, I'm quite surprised. Look at this space in front of us there. 
that's quite rare down this street so I'll make the most of this spread my arms out pointlessly what have we got the cheesecake guy oh I love a good cheesecake Edinburgh Woollen Mill it does seem to be mostly independence down here Edinburgh Woollen Mill has uh, spoilt that but uh, it, it does appear to come across anyway even even if they're not as uh, independent or at least uh, not major corporations with hundreds or thousands of uh, outlets we've got a Christmas decoration shop there a geek outlet and let's have a look in here the shop that must not be named so all your Harry Potter memorabilia souvenirs Gryffindor school. What cool is this? Hufflepuff room, house, room. Got all the merch. Could do with a big yellow hat, to be honest. Let's have a look. What's the damage of a Harry Potter? Twenty pound. Yeah. It's pretty cool. All of the uh, the ones. It's amazing. You can buy them here. So, down here. Display as well. So you can see, for example, let's look at this one here. Get my finger out of it. This one at the top here, Hermione Granger. And of course, the one at the top there, Harry Potter. So there you had the shop that must not be named. Lovely little shop, nicely themed. I had the Harry Potter music on in the background, not sure if you picked up on that. I uh, didn't do much of a commentary because I wasn't sure if I was meant to be filming, so I kind of tried to do it as discreetly as possible. Um, but we've just come at the end of the shambles. Uh, there's a shop here. Looks nice, shambles kitchen. They do uh, some pulled pork sandwiches, beef Rubens. This lady wants to give us a wave. <laughs> Beef barbacoa. So it looks lovely. And then this is the Enchanted Galaxy. This looks like an interesting shop. Again, Harry Potter memorabilia, but seems to have a bit of everything. American candy. Let's take a look in here. I'll film something if I can. I'm not quite sure what. I think it's just a a gift and souvenir shop really but we'll take a look inside you can see some Harry Potter ones here Twinkies so you got your American some of your American uh, food here and then literally on the other wall Harry Potter the contrast so I just done some re Google research and um, it's rumored the JK Rowling based Diagon Alley on the shambles now we can certainly see the resemblance that's unconfirmed but that's what it says on Google um, also one of the uh, Harry Potter's 
movies was actually filmed in York, Philosopher's Stone, so there is ties to York and Harry Potter. So here we are in King Square in York, and they've got the lovely traditional uh, carousel going off here in uh, in York, and then obviously around that we've got lots of coffee shops, restaurants, cookies, tourist attractions, and then York Chocolate Factory. We'll go take a look in the entrance of that but um, it is a chocolate factory or chocolate story so it's like um, you, I believe you get chocolate as you go through it and you unwrap the history of chocolate as it says here it smells lovely let's have a look we'll have to go have a look in this shop if nothing else Chocolate, chocolate everywhere. Right, so that's us done here in York today. It's starting to rain. I'm heading back to the coach. It's very cold. Uh, hope the video has given you a little insight into York Christmas market, uh, the shambles, and of course, a few bits and bobs in between. If you've liked the video, please like it. Also, subscribe to our channel. We will be adding more videos from Christmas markets. Um, and if you didn't know, we do have lots of videos from many UK theme parks and attractions and events. So take a look at our channel, see all of those. We also run coach trips from Teesside, Stockton, Middlesbrough, Hartlepool and Billingham. Check them out, myfamilyoutings.co.uk and check out our Facebook page, Family Outings North East. Thanks very much for watching everybody and we'll see you all again soon. Thank you.